I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. Destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. You think you're Frankenstein? Killing his own monster? Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. What you're doing is horrific. It has to stop. You can't force people to change. They have to do it on their own or they'll end up resenting you for it. And doing it like this? My god, Darrow, it's insane. It is not insane, Mr. Jensen. Tragic, yes. Unavoidable, no. History has shown us again and again that the human race is hidebound and governed by inertia. As a society, as a species, the only way to elicit any kind of reaction from it is through an act of tragedy, a horrible cataclysm. I regret what I have been forced to do, but given what I know about mankind and the dangers facing us, this was the only viable choice. You want us to see what you see? Fine. Our humanity is threatened because technology is messing with our minds. But how can we recognize this message when we're grieving over the people you forced us to leave behind? Friends and neighbors, people we care about. Is the image of their murders the vision you want us to have? Of course it isn't. I don't want to be remembered as, as a monster. Don't you see? I created people like you. I made it possible for you to happen. If fate had dealt me a different hand, then perhaps, perhaps neither of us would be here. Isn't it obvious how fate is now conspiring to overtake us both, to grind us beneath her wheels? We must see this through, lest people like you continue to evolve and destabilize society. People like me? I'm no different than you, Darrow. I'm still a human being, just like all the men and women you're driving insane out there. Step back for just one moment and see it through our eyes. You've convinced yourself you're saving the world, but you're just lashing out in spite. 
I don't give a damn how you see it. That is to say, I can't afford to. You and I, we're two sides of the same coin. I could have been you if it weren't for this damned blood in my veins. But I was cheated by my own DNA. Cursed to become a cripple. And I am not the only one. As long as this technology exists, mankind will continue to divide. Help me make us all equal again. You cover it up with all that pretense about saving the world, trying to justify it. But deep down inside, you're nothing more than an angry child. Spiteful, full of hate, envious and bitter. How petty is that? Petty? I was betrayed by my own genetics. Ruined by my own flesh. What right do you have to condemn me? To curse me? All I ever wanted was to build something good. Something magnificent. And now... There's so much blood. So much blood. I... I will give you what you want, Mr. Jensen. Codes to shut down Panchea's security system. But you'll still be in danger. Much of the system is self-determining. And lethal. When you see it, maybe then you'll understand. The technology I created will not be the future any one of us desires. Please, help the world understand that. The codes should help you shut down the Hyron project, Panchea's security system. When you see it, you will understand. There is no room for this technology in the world. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... On your own. Jensen. Be careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that. Get away from 
me. Don't be difficult. Get away from me! <laughs> 